So apparently there is more to this whole redneck uh, nations scandal, if you I guess we can call it. Uh, and we're about to get into it, y'all. But first, uh, there's a little matter of getting through this intro. Yo, what's good, fam? Bam, it is your boy Jason JV, and uh, yeah. If you've been following me for a good minute, then y'all know I am no stranger to this young lady's channel. I'm talking about, of course, and then Jesse B. We I have uh, reacted to some of her music. Uh, they give my fair critiques. You know what I'm saying? My fair uh, constructive feedback on her music, and uh, it's rather unfortunate that we're revisiting her channel now because of this controversy. But rest assured, we will. Um, we will check out more of Jesse B's music. I do want to check out uh, her latest stuff and then go from there. Uh, but until then, um, apparently she gave a rather interesting testimony in this video. Yes, your boy has seen this video. I did give it a good uh, once over, not only a once over, but a twice over. Um, Cause I want to make sure that I got full context of her testimony. And, um, some rather interesting uh, revelations in regards to uh, Redneck Nation. Um, so let's go ahead, y'all, and get into this video from Jesse B. It's simply called, I'm Coming For You. And I mean, with a title like that, I mean, hey, I believe it. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get into this by liking to hear here. Go. All right. I am going to talk about something I've been stewing on for a couple of weeks now. And I wasn't going to talk about this until the right time, but I was met with some information and it became undeniable. And it confirmed a lot of the research that I've been doing onto this very topic. Hmm. And I'm going to talk about it here with you guys tonight. I'm going to go ahead and roll this clip because I feel like the only introduction that is needed is the information. And uh, be advised, this is the same clip that um, Upchurch showed in his video. So let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm going to roll this clip. You guys have seen it. Uh, a lot of you guys um, who are familiar with the genre have seen this video. And um, I'm just here to tell you that what I'm going to talk about is bigger than just what has happened today. And it's bigger than Redneck Nation, it's bigger than this video, it's bigger than all of it. And I've spent a lot of time and dedicated a lot of hours into finding this information. <clears throat> and needless to say, I'm fucking sick to my stomach. And I cannot say I blame her. I mean, I know I'm pretty nauseous about it, but let's get into this. And I'm coming for you. So... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this clip and then I'm gonna talk about it. Is that ranting? Listen, off the record, we can get, I wanna get that down. Plus oh, social yeah. media. So I'll hit up the people who are, the guy lives who does the username. I'll tell you another way to do it too. And I don't know how we would do it where it was anonymous. Uh -huh. But if you go and buy fucking views, you can put it on you any of your videos. You can get fucked. Yeah. And they'll fuck them. Right. And bot subs. Yeah. So I'll hit up, because the Carter Hughes guy who's suing me, all those people, his, his name's Libs, at Libs on Instagram. Okay. I don't know if he'll talk to me, but if we say, hey, we'll give you like 500 bucks, yeah. 200 bucks, whatever your price is, to send 100,000. Yeah, but I, I don't know about that, because if they fucking fight, if he Yeah, wraps, because then, because that's out. why I said it's sketchy, because it's Carter I don't Hughes. Want, I don't want this to so be So I'll, I'll find it. Yeah. But find out also about... Um, find out about buying fucking uh, subs the and sub buying and followers. views and we'll put it on that I know buying views on it like uh, KSI like he got fucking hit hard so we could do it but we gotta get like a burner fucking we gotta get a burner credit card yeah. we can't involve any I'm not no well I want it down cause that cause you know that'll humble him oh yeah no he needs to he needs to now yeah, now he needs to lose this and he needs to keep he needs to keep getting hammered dude he needs to keep, keep getting hammered just want y'all to, you know, remember that, you know what I mean, for, for those of you who may not be aware, 
Um, and for those of you in the back who don't hear very well, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and get into Jesse's uh, perspective. So in this video, you are witnessing the owner of Redneck Nation, uh, along with another employee, plotting to try and get Ryan Up Church's music removed, shadow banned, uh, suppressed, mm -hmm. trying to diminish his numbers, his popularity, his credibility. They explain this plot and the way in which they go about trying to diminish Ryan's career is by purchasing bots. Not okay! And I'm gonna explain what that means. And See, now, now you know when I told y'all in my reaction to both uh, Ryan's video and Bobby's video that yeah, buying bot accounts is a real thing. I mean, it's, when more than one YouTuber is aware of that, oh yeah, you know it's legit. And that's the real kicker in this video and what has opened up a can of worms that I can't help but uh, talk about. First thing that you really hear in this video, and I've taken some notes, is Bobby saying, off the record, I wanna get that down, plus his social medias. And they say there's a couple ways you can do that, but the biggest way that I'm going to just talk, I'm going to try to just focus on this in this video, um, and that's the bots. I know a lot of the people who follow this music um, and follow the country rap genre, there's that stigma that people pay for views, right? And I'm here to tell you that it is 100% real, and I found the proof for it. And the best way to tell... <clears throat> If someone is buying subs and they're buying views you can check their analytics and for those of you who aren't very tech savvy when it comes to checking YouTube analytics you can look up on YouTube how to look up other youtubers um, analytics and, and stuff and their, their numbers and if their numbers don't add up then that's how you know that they're buying bots uh, bot accounts to pretend to be their subs um, they're buying views likes all that all that kind of stuff okay and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it today and I'm gonna hope that it will provoke you guys who are watching this video to do the same to do your own research <clears throat> and I'm gonna leave a lot of information in the description about this now in the last video I just want to clear up something because I said that there, there was a couple of youtubers that I know that actually do this too the reason why I can't reveal their names just yet is because I don't have the receipts to support my claims so that would qualify as hearsay and another thing too they're smaller channels, smaller, more insignificant channels. They only have around, I believe, 10K subs or somewhere around there, somewhere between 10 to 12K subs, which is uh, a bigger than me, obviously. But in the overall spectrum, the overall scheme of things, they're not really anybody of significance. So anyway. So if you guys didn't know, you can pay for views. It's mm -hmm. very easy and it's actually pretty inexpensive. She's not wrong. You can buy views, you can buy subscribers, you can buy likes, you can buy facts, facts, and more facts. Buy comments, you can yep. buy placements on the fucking charts. Now, that I wasn't aware of. I didn't know you can buy placement on charts and, and whatnot. You can buy it all. You can pay for exposure, you can pay for marketing and all this other stuff. And it's not now that she is correct, and yes, there are shady ways. Of paying for promotion paying for marketing however there is a legit way and a real proper way to pay for promotion and marketing who owns YouTube Google you know what other tool that Google also has that is uh, a paid service to help boost your numbers they have AdSense what's AdSense AdSense is basically it's a it's a paid service that content creators um, can use to help grow their channel. How do they do this? They basically pay for Google AdSense to uh, promote any of your videos. Like you, if you go to, if you're a content creator, content creators will know what I'm talking about. When I say when you go to your uh, manage videos or your video listings um, in your like behind the scenes or whatever to, to check your stats, you know, your likes, dislikes, uh, number of views and what have you. There's um, a, a little section, um, I think underneath the video's title, or it looks like three little dots. You click on that and a little list will pop up and there's um, an option that says promote and that'll take you to Google AdSense. And you basically set up a ad campaign that allows your videos to be promoted 
on any and all platforms that Google owns, even on their browsers. Um, so yeah, on their browser, of course, all over YouTube, you know what I mean? And wherever else, um, Google is able to promote uh, YouTube content. And that is the real legit way to really pay for promoting and marketing to help your channel grow so you can get more subs the legit way, get more views the legit way. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear some certain YouTubers poke fun at other YouTubers for paying for promotion and marketing, it depends on how they're doing it. If they're going the, the uh, shady route, they're trying to you know use the shortcut methods, if you will, fine, and those people deserve it. But if they're doing it the uh, legit way and using a tool that Google owns that helps you, you know what I'm saying, to get your stuff out there so you can grow your audience, nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, you got to do what you got to do to grow. And if, if you really want to grow, at least be smart about it and do it the right way. It's not uh, uh, this big secret, but I don't feel like people are really paying attention to it enough. And she's also not wrong about that either. And there's two things that you can do with this power, right? This power of buying views. Number one, you can use it to build yourself up as an artist to get True. your numbers higher to get yourself placed up on the charts, to get yourself in front of audiences. Mm -hmm. And you can also do it to fuck with other people's numbers. That I did not know of. To suppress their numbers. And I'm gonna explain how you do that. The past couple of years, YouTube has been cracking down on these so-called bots. Did I not say the same thing in my, again, in my previous video? They've been trying to formulate other algorithms to weed out fake accounts and bots and whatnot hence what brings in the sub count fluctuation you know what i mean if you've seen your sub count number be up one day and then kind of drop down a few subs the next day that's because again youtube is is doing a a sub audit to see which uh which of your subs are legit and which ones are the bots and uh they will remove views they will remove content that I feel as though is receiving these fake views, these fake subscribers and all. Sometimes it'll be even worse. Sometimes they'll even remove your account. They'll delete your account. All this other stuff. And it happens with Instagram. It happens with YouTube. It happens with every social media platform, TikTok, all of it. Mm -hmm. You can pay to go viral. Yep. I'm going to explain a story. Actually, I need to correct myself on that. I didn't know you can actually pay to go viral for you about two weeks ago i uncovered some information on some artists whose numbers weren't adding up uh, they were gaining a lot of traction for things that weren't really promoted weren't really talked about and it just was really confusing to me so i did some research and i looked into this and i found a pattern especially with comment sections of said videos. And I want you to do your research yourself, okay? Put your favorite artist to the test. Not only your favorite artist, but really your favorite YouTuber, put them to the test, look up their analytics, see if their numbers add up. If they don't add up to you, something fishy is going on then with, that, with their account. You can go in the comments and there's a crazy pattern. It's so wild to me. But these accounts having zero subscribers, usually their names are a first to last name and then they're followed by four digits. That, my friend, is a bot. That is a fake view, that is a fake comment, it's a fake like, it's a fake account. And it's paid for by labels, artists, businesses to build up their views and build up their attention on these videos that will then push their content to be put on the recommended pages. So they pay for these bots to be able to push their content even more, to push that algorithm to make YouTube push their content to the recommended pages and get real views. Not okay! It's the definition of you fake it till you make it. And everybody says, oh, numbers don't lie. They fucking do. Yeah, that is um, a popular misconception when it comes to numbers. Numbers can lie. They really can. Numbers fucking lie. Facts. Labels fucking lie. Facts. Artists fucking lie. Facts. Businesses fucking lie. And I'm going to tell you, you're not going to get away with it for much longer.
you blew it. So they can do this to build up their career, or they can do this to flood people's careers, flood people's social media accounts like Bobby and all the people from Redneck Nation we're going to try to do. What? What the fuck? We're trying to do, we're orchestrating to do. Because these algorithms have cracked down on YouTube and they can catch these random spikes in views, these random spikes in subscribers and comments, and they will take down that content. They will suppress the video's exposure to prevent these fake bots. And I know it firsthand because it happened to me on my latest music video. What? Ain't that the kicker? Isn't that crazy? I'm not even a big artist yet. I take very seriously my stats. I check my numbers almost every single day. And I was really paying attention to my numbers with my latest music video, something different. And I had almost gotten to about 6,000 views, which for me, within a couple of days was really good numbers, really good organic analytics for me. I mean, hey, kudos to her for that, bruh. Within a couple of hours, I go back to check my numbers to see how far we're doing, and for some wild fucking reason, my views went down. I was like, oh, okay, my page must be glitched. Let me, you know, refresh it. No, eh, those numbers are a lot less than when I let, last checked them. And I'm not talking about like a couple... 10, 15 views, I'm talking a couple hundred. And I was baffled, I was like, what the fuck? So I did a little research and this sent me down this fucking rabbit hole. And then I looked into some other artists to see if anyone else had been seeing the same pattern, but I found the opposite. That a lot of these artists were having these patterns of these fake accounts, these fake bots in their comment sections, and their numbers just were not adding up. And so I'm here to tell you I am launching a project and I'm going to dedicate a lot of time to this project while also doing my own music to expose this shit. And I am in 100% support. I would love to help out. Jesse, if you're watching this video, I would love to help out in any way that I can, you know, because, yeah, man, this this shit ain't right. Damn it, Bobby, this just ain't right. Because y'all... Country rap is a small genre, arguably one of the smallest genres there is. And it's growing. It's a bigger environment. It's starting to get bigger. More facts. But if you can see it very vividly within this genre, imagine what those big mainstream labels and big mainstream genres are doing. Imagine how far these big wigs are willing to go to get their content pushed. Nowadays, you don't even have to have talent. As long as you got about $13.99, you could buy a combo pack and you can buy all your likes and all your views until eventually your content does get seen. And you know the mainstream is desperate when they got to resort to these tactics to, you know, promote, to bring their artists up and have their artists be like the gatekeepers for real artists with real talent. You know what I mean? Keep them at bay. No, let's, pr let's promote these, these talentless mofos which record labels you know obviously they have the resources to do meanwhile the the the, uh, the smaller starving artists that are trying to come up can't it's yeah man i mean that's how you know mainstream music is it, it, it's it's going down the tubes and i'm fucking sick of it and, all you and she's not the only one that's sick of it i'm sick of it too you know you motherfuckers out there who think it's okay to suppress people who have worked their ass off and dedicated their lives to this music. Thank you. Better watch the fuck out. Amen. Because it's not just me coming for you now. I'm orchestrating a team of motherfuckers who are going to come after you. And we're going to expose all of this shit. And I'm going to name drop. Let's go. When the time is right, I'm going to drop all of this information. But I'm going to take the time to really hone in on my research and continue doing what I'm doing. In the description, you will notice an email address. <clears throat> you will notice um, an inbox where I am opening the floodgates of, for information. If you want to talk about something, if you feel like you have some insider information on this topic, I want you to share your opinion, share your stories. Because... I'm making a documentary exposing all of this. Ooh, I cannot wait to see that. That's going to be interesting. 
And today's video, seeing that with Redneck Nation, confirmed that. Anybody can do it. Anybody. I want to talk about some other stuff having to do with Redneck Nation. Some personal things. All right, here we go, y'all. Here's where she gives her testimony. I was introduced to Redneck Nation after the release of my one of my very first music videos, and that was Full Throttle Baby. Um, and I had done some research into the company, and I had found that there was a lot of people that were backing them, and I wanted to be a part of it. I chatted with the owner of Redneck Nation, and we discussed a potential partnership, a potential um, uh, sponsorship, and he had stated, hey, I'll call you and we'll talk about all of this stuff and we'll get it going. And we texted back and forth about a bunch of different stuff, some stuff having to do with the mud jugs and whatnot. And then all of a sudden, homeboy stopped responding. Hmm. And I was very, I was taken back and I was like, okay, whatever, you know, maybe it's for the best. Mm, if you ask me, I think she got lucky there. And my best friend chimed in she told me an experience she had with redneck nation her time with that company was very short-lived because they tried to control her content she is very open about who she is she's has a dirty mouth like i do she um is not afraid to speak her mind and redneck nation didn't like that and i've got ah redneck nation went woke <laughs> They trying to censor their clients. That's not a good look. Not okay. Permission to talk about the story from her. So Jay. You know what happens when you go woke, right? Just ask Target. Just ask Bud Light. Hey, I love you. I hope that I can tell your story and give it justice. They told her, hey, don't be wearing shorts. That's not really the image we want to put out there. We're a Southern brand. Uh, we don't want you to cuss anymore like that. You know, you represent our brand, and so we don't feel as though that's okay for you to do. Ooh, they got some cancel culture vultures running that place. And I'm going to be brief about this because I'm going to allow her to tell her own story in, in due time. They tried to control her and to change her to fit their narrative that they're a Christian Southern Heritage brand, and they're full of fucking shit. <laughs> They used Ryan to build their brand and their eyes set on him from the beginning and they were successful in doing that. And then they saw that Ryan got really big and their jealousy, that green monster of jealousy within them ruined them. Which is pretty evident. So again, Bobby, stall us out on your little apology video, man, because... We all know that, that that was just a publicity stunt. And it was very clear after seeing today's video how easily jealousy can fuck your entire life up. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. And so this is just the part one. This is just... This is just a small portion of the things that I'm going to uncover and expose in due time in this documentary that I'm planning. And um, I'm going to get some people together. Artists, if you're an independent artist and you have experience, not only with this company, and it doesn't have to be with Red Nation, anything, tell your story. If you're a label, tell your story. I want to see the information from all sides. But mainstream music, I'm coming for you. And so is a lot of other people. And I'm not afraid of you. Yeah, man, yo, let's go. Let's go. I'm sick and tired of these people being the gatekeepers, man. Let's go. I've worked my ass off for the past two, three years to get my music where it is, and I will be damned if any of you piece of shit, pathetic people out there try to suppress my music, friends' music, people who are really trying to push their story, people who are full of talent. You're not gonna take that away from us, and you're certainly not gonna win. And I'm gonna make sure of that. 
And let's go. Let's go. I'm in full support. Let's go. It's time to stand up. It's time to realize that numbers lie. Yes, ma'am. I agree. Bots are real. Yes, they are. Buying views is real. Yes, it is. Do the test. Go to some of your favorite artists. Look at their comment section and see if you don't see that pattern. And again, not just your favorite artists, but your favorite YouTubers in general. Check out their analytics. See if they if they line up. You see a first and a last name and a couple digits on all of their profiles. They have no subscribers. Technology is a powerful thing. And it's creating careers out of nothing. And it's diminishing careers with money. And I'm sick and tired of it. So fuck you. Um, to all the people who are trying to suppress content that are building their careers off of paying for these bots. That are building careers off of fucking nothing. You're not actually famous. You just paid to look like you were. And you're fake. And it's going to come out. And I'm going to talk about it. And I'm going to drop this documentary. And I have a lot of people who are going to back me up on this. So good luck. Redneck Nation, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Facts! I am withholding some information, but it's going to come out at the right time. Ooh, and I cannot wait. I can't wait. But I wanted to make this video tonight to share with you guys the truth and the beginning of what's going to come out. And I, for one, appreciate it. Any artist who feels like they have any information, please feel free to reach out to the email address that's linked in the description. All of my research um, is going to be linked in the description because I believe in doing your own research. Look at the websites. Look at how easy it is to purchase fame, to purchase views. Um, and we're going to shed light on all of this in due time. Anyway, to all of my people who have been following me and really, truly support independent artists, I love you guys. Continue to do what you're doing. Push hey. the artists that you love. Be real. And understand that I'm going to do my best to do the right thing. I'm going to do my best to play my role in making sure that independent artists are heard. Hey, so, let's go. Thank you. And I love you guys. And to everyone else, to the snakes, to the liars, to the people who are paying their way to get to the top, the walls are coming down. And I'm coming for you. Mama said knock y'all out. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's pretty much the end of the video right there. I'm definitely... Oh, I already went ahead and matched the likes. Like I said, I did give this a twice over. As a matter of fact, your boy did commented. We got, uh, did I actually like my own comment? Let me change that. All right, there we go. Uh, so yeah, we, uh, your boy got three likes on this comment. I said straight up, get him, girl. Like, let's go. Let's go. And of course, Upchurch left not just one, but two comments down there as well to show his support. He finna jump in the fight. I'm down the roll. I said, let's go. Let's do it, man. All right, y'all. With this video 100%, y'all are too. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know what to do with that link for the original video. If you want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted, that is, and go support Jesse B. You know what I'm saying? If, if y'all are rocking with Jesse B, yeah, make sure y'all go so, show her some love. If you're new to Jesse B, hey, yeah, go, go check her out. Like I said, I will be reacting to more of her music, so make sure y'all are keeping it locked right here if you want to see that. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, like she said, we got to support the independent artists, man. You know what I mean? Bruh. Because we, we, we all in this thing together. So we all got to help each other out. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know how to support the channel. You know what I mean? You know all the uh, YouTube rigmarole, if you will. And, um, yeah, so the next one, y'all bless one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Badger. I'm one half of the next video. I'm going to say what's up to you. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, you're sad. If you're happy, I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like you're on the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe.
Tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!